Sure. My name is Joe Michael. Um, I live in Sacramento. Uh, I've lived in Sacramento for quite a while now. Um, I actually work for Equality California. Um, I do legislative work, and you know that's to some degree part of what brings me here today. But I'm also here today as a member of the community, um, both the Sacramento community and the Sacramento trans community. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm really excited to to be here and be part of this event that is really about visibility for people who are transgender and honoring that and lifting that up. Um, you know, the first mural depicting a transgender woman ever in Sacramento. It's an amazing thing um, and it's a beautiful mural. So um, yeah, it's it's a really just beautiful day. Cool. So, I mean, you touched on it then, but what does this mean to both the trans community and just the Sacramento community? I think in a lot of ways, this is about bringing communities together. Um, today is Transgender Day of Visibility, um, but it's also Cesar Chavez Day. Um, there's a lot about bringing communities together that you know are all facing marginalization, communities that are vulnerable, um, coming together and gaining strength and power together. Um, that's a lot of what today is about, at least for me. So um, yeah, it's. It's really, I, I think, empowering, um, given what else is going on right now in Sacramento and, and more broadly in, in the country and in the world, to be able to come together and honor something beautiful, honor the beauty of our community. I have. Uh, <laughs> Okay, cool. Uh, my name is Ben Hudson. Uh, I'm the executive director at Gender Health Center in Sacramento. Gender Health Center is the organization in partnership with the California Endowment that commissioned this piece of artwork here. So this is a gorgeous mural that uh, we had the opportunity to work with the California Endowment on making sure that it came into fruition. Um, this is China Gibson, who's a trans woman who was uh, from Sacramento. She was murdered in New Orleans last year. Uh, we are, you know, what I feel this mural represents for us is, the, is a conversation about authenticity and courage. I feel like, you know, China is a person who, you know, embodied in everything that she had, her authenticity and her courage. And it's exciting to see so many people out here supporting that. So what does an event like this get to the surface for the heroines? Well, I mean, it's really amazing that it landed on, you know, trans, Transgender Visibility Day, uh, the opportunity to open this. And so an, an event like the uh, Day of Visibility for trans folks means everything. It means that trans folks can be guaranteed a space where they are seen and heard and accepted for exactly as their authentic selves are then. And to have that amazing day coincide with the opportunity to unveil this mural um, is, a, is a message to our community that, um, you know, we need to be looking at this as a unifying opportunity and we need to elevate the stories of those who are really sitting in the margins. <laughs> My name's Nikki. I am um, a part of Nikki Abaleta. I am a part of um, the Asian Pacific Islander Queer Sacramento Coalition. I'm on the board of directors there, and I'm also part the founder of Sacramento Filipino LGBTQ. Oh, just in your own words, can you tell me what's happening today? Today is the unveiling of the mural that was created. Um, in for the trans community, the, for P, for black trans women in commemoration and memory for Chi, for China. I, I'm sorry. I believe that it means being visible and showing representation and showing that that um, that black trans women in particular are. Um, one of the most marginalized communities um, and they need to show visibility and that we need to protect them because they are like you know our sisters as well thank you
Okay, so my name is Eliza Claiborne Crosby, and I'm with the LGBT Center of Sacramento, but I'm also with um, trans rights organizations. Today is about trans women in general, black trans women, and today's also about Miss China Gibson and all the countless um, black trans women who have been murdered. It means everything to the local trans community because we don't normally get to see this kind of stuff. Um, this doesn't happen for us. We're usually in the background, and today we're in the front. So this is a big day for you know, all of us trans women. Up, so please uh, stick around. Feel so free to get some water. We need the big tent over here. But we do have some sorry, performances yeah. coming up. So please stick around. Social and folks who ain't saying what's up yet. And we're going to keep it moving. Well, hopefully it means that Sacramento will pay a, more attention to the issues and um, other things that goes on with trans people, but um, specifically um, trans women of color. Um, hopefully this will bring a better um, outlook for um, how to deal with the issues that we go through on a day-to-day -day basis. Hi, my name is Ebony Harper from the California Endowment. Um, I, along with the Gender Health Center, commissioned this art piece um, to uplift trans women of color. China Gibson was murdered in Louisiana last year, and I thought it was important that we had a space to not only memorialize our folks, but lift them up. And so now, in Midtown Sacramento, we have a space for China Gibson. And not only her, but other trans women of color that's been murdered in this city. And I'm so grateful. All right. I'm Evan Michael Minton. I'm with the California Democratic Party LGBT Caucus. I'm the Northern California Chair. How did you get involved with today? Um, I've been a client and also a volunteer with the Gender Health Center. And I'm also a fangirl of Ebony Harper's. And, um, and so I came out today because when I first heard about China Gibson, the news struck me as it would anyone who was in tune with the plight of transgender African American women in our society. And knowing that it had a direct tie-in to both Sacramento and to Ebony made me want to come out and get even more closely involved. And then in addition to that, I think it's just so important for all of us to have community where we can come and restore and find strength together. What is today in this world? What does it mean to Sacramento and the Sacramento trans community? It means that Sacramento is finally recognizing as a greater whole that we have a transgender population that can't not be ignored. It means that that even if the powers that be won't recognize the ground swell that we're becoming, that we don't need them to recognize us, that we're becoming that on our own, and that we're rising up higher and higher. <laughs> and that's that, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. My name is Chris Kent, um, and I am the board president for the Lavender Library, Archives, and Cultural Exchange. Okay, um, can you tell me what this mural and what this event means to the Sacramento, uh, to, to the trans community and the Sacramento community in general? Yeah, I think being the first mural of its kind, it's very, it's got symbolic meaning, right? Um, it's a symbol for the community, and I think it's fantastic. I don't know what, I don't know, that was terrible. <laughs> uh, no, I think having the visibility, especially on Trans Day of Visibility, uh, is ex extremely important. And also bringing in uh, a layer of conversation about, uh, you know, white supremacy and violence against uh, black communities is extremely important. Can you tell me what it means to the Latin Library to have uh, 
Yeah, I think the mission of the Lavender Library is about preserving uh, our community's culture and amplifying voices. And the fact that this is on the back of our building, I think, speaks directly to what we're all about. And so uh, I think that, that it's extra important to us, given our mission and the community that we serve.